Hello, hi, namaste. My name is Zevan Jodhiviswal and I am going to start a new series. Probably this is my past series, my YouTube. And just talking about the DSA and our first topic is RA. We are going to talk about the RA. Uh, first of all, we are going to talk about the RA first. After that, we will moving forward some questions. And today I will cover one question that is nothing but a... Uh, one second okay that is nothing but removing element and that is for representing the lead code we will going to solve this problem okay before understanding this problem let's talk about the, some part of the array okay what do you mean by array array is a data structure which is capable of storing element in same type of element storing same type or we can say homogeneous type type element and also the size of the array is fixed means we have to declare when you are going to declaring array at the time we are fixing the size that's why it can also say that that is a data structure means array a data structure capable of storing the homogeneous type of data up to a certain range you can say up to a certain range mm, up to a Certain is here. Okay, just up to up to a fixed range. You can say that. Hmm. Okay, before moving for our array, uh, let's see what is array. It is means how array looks like. Means we have to know how to declare an array. Uh, let's uh, I am here declaring an integer type of array. Uh, let's array name is R. Okay, let's take array. We can it is a declaration of array. We can also declare the array just like int arr. Okay, one second. Can declare like this only this is to two type of declaration of an array also another type is declaration declaration of an array also there is some other type of declaring array let's talk about the integer type of array here i am going to declare the array means means here I am going to um, not declaring it is somehow like uh, initializing the array before initializing I am declaring the size of the array new int of uh, less the size of array is 5 that is a uh, one kind of we can say assign the array also you can assign the array with the value means uh, if I want to assign the array, I can go for that only. Okay, just say the curly versus I am declaring something randomly. Okay, uh, this is the all about the array. Uh, let's talk about how to declare an array and how to initialize an array, all the things in details let's go for the next tab here i am going to talk about how to declare we already see it how to declare the array uh, here I, uh, we are going to learn about how to assign an array means initializing the array uh, let's i am declaring an array 
ARR equal to I'm declaring specifying the length of the array it is probably I'm taking as 4 okay how to declare means how to initialize this array we can go for the loop we already know about the for loop uh, let's consider about for loop in the i equal to uh, okay I just forgot ever forgot to say something about the array actually for the array all the iteration started from the zero zero itself means what of the size of the array means it will be zero uh, one comma two comma three it will be the uh, means if your array size is four or any if your array size is n then uh, what about the element present in it is we it is equal to zero to n minus one position it is up to this something like that only we can say that something like that only okay uh, okay uh, we just i am just putting this something here okay i'm just trying to make a generalizing form that's why i'm typing here data type okay and the name the array or you can say as identifier something something like that only name of array array name what will be for our data type and it will be our size and if your array size is if you array size is n then the element present in the array it will be always started from the zero itself that's why whatever the element present will be in the array it will be started with zero then up to it will be go up to n minus one position uh, that's all about the array now let's talk about how to initialize an array means uh, how to insert the element inside the array uh, okay uh, okay i just forgot about to told you about that only i am using tutorials finds three whiteboard it is not sponsored it is something free for the that's why i'm using actually okay it's free that's why nothing else okay uh, i'm going to declare an array uh, I am okay integer type array we can go for any kind of array now I am going for an integer type an array uh, in integer type of array I am just putting the elements like uh, okay I am just declaring first that's why I am just uh, declaring the size also here I am declaring the size as 5 okay it is our array is now 5 size integer, integer type array now I want to insert the element inside the array that's why I can go for the loop here I am using the for loop I already told you my array will already started from 0 then up to the size minus 1 and also inside array I am here I am talking about the length variable it is a variable it is actually a static variable of array um, it is not a function so don't feel like that only okay i plus plus i am here putting inside this i can write something like that only we can also go for the scanner class okay if you want to input the array uh, by by user input you can go for the scanner class otherwise i am here just putting in some random inputs means i am here declaring zeros person will contain zero okay less i am declaring here uh, int value uh, i am declaring here 10 okay uh, means my position 0 will be 10 up to verse 5 it will be incremented by 2 that's why i am here writing array of position i means array of position 0 is equal to my value then afterwards after that i am increasing value plus equal to 2 
reference after that uh, second time my value will be uh, by plus 2 ok that is the declaration of array ok let's see this array is actually executing or not means what are the element we want to executing uh, it is going to be inserted or not that's why we are going for the that program and here I am using an online compiler by programize it is also not sponsored but you can use whatever that's open you you can use also okay here I am going to declare an integer type of array uh, arr equal to new integer size of okay I'm just increasing something okay that will be that will be fine uh, new integer type it will be size of 5 same logic I am going to here writing writing going to write here right now int value equal to my value there it is 10 also I am here taking as 10 let's I am considering the for loop int i equal to 0 and my i is less than I already take about that array have an that is a <coughs> element once it is a it is going to show you the length of the array okay i am increasing i plus plus means here i am going to declare a follow the follow it will be started from zero to length minus one already probably talk about that some that's only if your array size is something means if your array size is n it will be executing from zero to n minus one here I am going to inserting the element inside the array. Okay, my array started with zeroth position. Okay, okay. Uh, before that only, if I want to print my array, unless using the for loop for printing my array, I just declare the array. I am not inserting. I just want to print my array. Uh, printing. You can go for system dot out dot print align okay this is online compiler some maybe sometimes it is going to not accepting the ln form somehow it is something like that only okay we will see it we can also go for fix by using our own compiler okay uh, just see if i just declared an array here i am just declaring an array with the size array width size 5 uh, here I want to print in my print my array um, printing my array ok let's run uh, as expected uh, that is means if you are going for declaring an array ok if you are going for declaring an array after that if you want to print the element just like it is an integer type of array that's why the default value for the integer type array will be zero that's why according to the size only it will be print the number of zeros okay uh, now i am going to okay let's use this for the printing purpose uh, let's another creating another thing okay let's pasting here don't copy paste type by yourself okay okay I want to here I want to taking input also can take say as um, inserting inserting element okay here I am going to put my, my first over my first array array of position i means first position 0 it will be value and then after i am increasing value plus equal to 2 ok now run yes it is splitting my outputs means my first ever output will be uh, 10 10 plus 2 12 14 16 and 18 this is going to be inserting here we are inserting the array and here we are printing this array okay uh, this is all about inserting the array element inside something randomly okay